welcome to day 37 of the Lent devotional series. It is week six of redemption and new life in Christ. For today's passage, I'll be going over Romans chapter five, verses one through 11. Overall, these verses discuss that Paul is telling us that we are not putting our faith and trust in a God who would possibly deliver on his promise of heaven and salvation from the outrage of God. From that, we can assure that these promises of peace and hope can be truly fulfilled because God has already delivered his promise to save us from the death of sin, concluding to the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. The first 11 verses transition us from the theme of justification to the nature of the new life that believers enter. The good news from these verses are the person whom God has justified is also the person whom God has made peace with and as they are assured of salvation in the day of judgment. By this point in Paul's letter, some of his readers may have been wondering, what are the benefits of justification and does it really work? Paul's answer would have been a resounding yes. To prove it, he listed major blessings that every believer possesses. As we'll see, these blessings flow through Christ. He is one who all God's gifts are channeled through to us who believe. And the benefit that is given to the one who places their faith in Christ is peace. The peace that believers experience is an objective reality. We long for peace. From all the events that have been happening, lots of innocent people have been killed resulting to the world lacking peace. People everywhere need to be freed from the world that rages inside them through God. We can have peace. More importantly, peace with God through Jesus. He has made a way for us to be brought back into the right relationship with the Father, and he has brought peace through his blood on the cross. And lastly, think about what it means, think about what it means to have peace with God. You might think about your life before you put faith in Christ. What were the different ways you were at war with God? What does peace look like, look like to you now? Thank you and God bless.